Hello everyone, this is my first time doing this and I'm recording audio directly to Sony Vegas. And what I'm doing is starting the first part of Let's Make a Game series and this time we are designing the sprites stand in for my game. Make sure you like and subscribe. So what you're seeing here is me just doing the little basic for my character that we will be using just to start off with. Don't worry, I won't be using him that much. And I did realise then that the character kind of did look a bit rude so I did have to change his body shape a little bit. I mean, I do like this design for the character. Another one will be coming, don't worry, this is just basic. So I might actually use this in some other way. So next we'll go on to the next part of the video, which probably will be doing the idle stance. For the idle stance, it's quite simple actually. All I have to do is move his arms up and down. And you can't really see, I am just saving the character in each position. So I move the arms up and down, then I move them forward and draw more of that one. That needs to be drawn on, and obviously I'll fix everything. Um, I'm not showing it all, but basically all I have to do now is I make the character look up and then look down. It's really simple, that's all I'm doing for the idle stance. So what the idle stance is, is when he's standing still, what's he going to be doing? And all he's going to be doing is shrugging his shoulders, basically. Next, we are going on to doing the walking animation for my character. Obviously, the sprites aren't the best looking, and they probably won't ever be, because I'm, t I'm not a very good artist this way. But they will be nice to see in the game. And they might be a bit too big, I don't know yet, we'll see. I can always make them smaller, because obviously that doesn't affect quality. So, now. So I was going to use the original legs for this and just move them like I did with the arms and I realised I probably will have to redraw them. So I was redrawing the legs for quite a while and then I finally found a design I actually like for them which kind of like this. I had a lot of problems, this was for walking one which I will save at the end of this and then do walking two because it's just back and forth, back and forth like that. Um, I didn't have a problem doing walking two just because it took me too long to do it but then I figured out how it would look right. So then I realised these legs weren't wide enough because I made the character's legs quite what? wide originally so I had to change these by making them a bit wider as you can see I am doing right now um, after this what will be next is it may be the jumping animation which I wasn't gonna do or it'll be the attacking animation there's gonna be attack defend jump and giving you whole bits of information for the game but don't worry you'll enjoy it all so next I was right here is the jumping animation I did do scenery next I gave up the second leg but then I thought I'd show the whole character sprite first. So now we'll go on to the jumping. Obviously, honestly, I did I did forget to record the first part, which is him doing the initial jump. That's what it looks like when he's about to jump. And then all I do is rotate the head and move, change the eyes by redrawing them. So now I'll get rid of the legs and I'll do what happens when he's in the air. Hopefully this is all how it works. I'm not really used to animation yet on Unity. I've done it once before, but not very well. So we'll see how this goes. So this is what the legs look like. Obviously the um, one of the legs is a bit too wide. So I will be redrawing that in a little bit, which you may see, I believe. And I'll change the arms. Basically when he's in the air, his arms and legs are just down because he's done a great leap. Trust me, when the game's story gets announced, everything will be a lot more understanding of what's going to be happening and why is he doing great leap? Why does he need to punch him? Why does he need to defend? Which will be one of the next ones. So you see the leg here is redrawn as for some reason I was stopping. This is all recorded after the audio, it's a bit weird. If you didn't like it like this, tell me how you'd rather me do it in the comments below, because that would help me out a lot. Would you rather me record the audio after or something like that? I don't know, I thought maybe recording it off during would be good. Well, I mean, not during, I mean, while it's edited and everything. So now when he's landing, basically, I just rotate the head again. It looks a bit blurry, but honestly, it might look better in game, and I will be redrawing these completely again later on, don't worry. Yes, I know his body's going through his arm, I do realise this later and I do fix it. So next, let's go on to attacking. So attacking was relatively fun to do. I did forget to do record again for the other arm, but basically he's defending with one arm, punching forward with the other. All it needs to do is just idle, boom, punch. And now, but I've made it so if you do punch his arm and run, he will start swapping arms. So as you can see, I just moved his first arm behind and erased some of it, and then I moved another one in to look like he's defending with one. Because a normal punching stand should have if you're right-handed, you have your left hand by your face and your right hand lower down. That's kind of how I've gone for. Next, we will go on to defending, which is relatively short. As I said, defending is relatively short. All he does will have his hand in front of him, just protecting his body. Next, we're going to go on to scenery, and then I'll do a little final talk about this whole video. Okay, so we're on the scenery now, and I was just going to do a basic background of sky and a grass floor. Obviously, again, it will be changed and it will look better. I think at the end of this, actually, I do get rid of the clouds because I think they look weird. So basically, it's just a grass bottom and I will change it so everything looks better, don't worry. But I'll just do a final talk of this video. Basically, uh, after this, what I did was I made all backwards animation stuff as well because if he turns around. 
And if you're wondering what about enemies, well, enemies something to punch will be coming soon. I'm not sure if I'll show a video for that because I, all I wanted to do was show a video of me designing sprites. Again, not the best. I'm not a great artist at all. I could de I could do a lot better. Hopefully, I will do a lot better soon. Um, but this character I designed, I actually did, really do like. I don't know something about him is just adorable. His little depressed kind of looking. I don't know, body, face, everything about him just kind of makes me glad that I've designed him and hopefully I will be able to bring him into the game properly soon. But for the main character, there's a little project that I will be starting soon to actually make a design for him and when that design is done, I will be using him in the game. So, thank you everyone for joining me. This video is done now, hopefully you enjoyed it. This is a weird thing for me to do, I don't really do stuff like this. And I will see you guys in the next video, which on this series will be the start of Unity stuff. Thank you and goodbye.